Hey, welcome to the We've Been Drinking MMA podcast, where we just break down the main cards of every every single MMA fight, UFC fight. And uh, the first fight we have is Cody Brundage and Michael Ola Sajak. Um, it's, they are both at basically the same age, 27. They're both six foot, 205, the light heavyweight. And they both basically are the same reach. Uh, Ola Sajak has a little bit more reach, over 74 inch. So. Yeah, they're big guys. Actually, they're 185 middleweights. They're 185. 185. I was wrong. Um, so they're 185. Um, I'm going to start with Michael Olasajak with the uh, breakdown. Um, he, he keeps his hands up. He uh, he likes to keep the pressure on. Uh, you you can really see that in the Sam Alley fight. Well, when it was a very short fight because he kept on with the pressure, kept on with the punches, and he just got him out of there. Um, he's very tough and durable. He had a very good chin against the Dustin Jacoby fight. That Dustin Jacoby kept on with the pressure as well, but he was able to. Uh, um, take those punches and keep moving. He's he's very good at moving forward. Um, he's one of the most pressure uh, fighters that we've ever seen. I mean, he reminds us of actually in the main event with Ankalev, Magomed Ankalev uh, this Saturday. It was Magomed Ankalev versus Jan Blakowicz for the 205 pound title. Ankalev pressured like basically the whole fight. This guy's pressuring just as much, if not more. Yeah, very very much so. Um, the only downside with I would say, Jack, is like, it seems like his cardio breaks down very easily. Like, a person that brings a lot of pressure yeah. might be able to keep keep pressuring and get him out of there. But, like, we haven't seen that yet. But it seems like he knows what he's doing in there. He throws one of the tension. Um, like, if somebody could take him down, theoretically, it would it would really mess with his gas tank. I mean, I, that's what I'm thinking, right? Like, if, if somebody like Cody Brundage, it yeah. could be a bad style matchup. That's the reason that, I mean, both of us are thinking, I mean, I'm thinking it's a 50-50 fight. We're going to have predictions for the rest of the card, guys. I guarantee it. This fight, though, it really feels like a tough matchup, only because what what Lousy said over here is that Oleg Sajak pressures forward, and the thing is he actually makes himself tired by just pushing so hard and so fast all the time. And a guy like Cody Brundage, uh, who's his opponent this fight, Cody Brundage is a guy who does like to sit back and, and wait for you to tire yourself out, and he can time you with an overhand right, possibly take you down, possibly submit you, and that's something where if a guy like Oleg Sajak pressures forward gets tired, Brundage might be able to take advantage. That's why we're thinking 50-50, truly. Uh, Cody Brundage really is a type of fighter that takes what he, you give him. So yeah. if you tire out like he does, he's, he's able to, like, oh, I see what you're doing and be able to take what you give them. Like like the lungy fight that, that he just fought. He was able, because he did basically like press him against the cage and try to take him down even though he's fighting. Like he was winning that fight with with his fist. He was trying to take him down maybe for a ground pound or whatever. But he was able to like, okay, I see what you're doing and get that guillotine. Like, so th- that might be a problem for Oleg. But um, right pressures pressures yeah. uh, Brundage so much that he might actually run into a guillotine choke, which is Brundage's specialty. Yeah, it's like you ever seen the movie uh, The Substitute? He looks like a Polish substitute. Like he just does this on the weekend, <laughs> and uh, like, like he... students don't know, but like, <laughs> like, but he like this is what he does. Like he's a fighter, but he also teaches like chemistry on the side. Like they get a little Walter White thing going on yeah, from Breaking real. Bad, right? Like, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, it's like, dude, there's no way Mr. Oleg Zajac could be that aggressive and that much of a killer. But you know what he is? He goes to the yeah. body. He, 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 he's a rough, he's a roughhouser, man. That's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I, I totally get it, man. He teaches, I, he teaches people A plus B equals C um, yeah. for his main job. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> uh, on the weekends, he 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 pretty much does the one two, one two, one three. He does have a good one two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. He's definitely smart. <laughs> smart. He reads his opponents well. I mean, considering that he pressures forward so much, you expect him to get into more trouble. But he actually does make good reads, meaning like he doesn't let his head just get in, you know, get in harm's way too easily, like he is. 
careful about his head placement and he just goes forward a, a lot and it just sets pressure. up it, it's wow. the pressure it, it, it you know and, and with a guy who's inexperienced it can work on them as far as making him tired winning a close decision and that's why you know we're we're leaning towards Oleg Sajak yeah uh, Michael Oleg Sajak is going to put that pressure and it's it's it is kind of like unlike pressure that we've seen before however it's not he's not so over aggressive that he takes too many shots he does take yeah. some shots but he not get, he's not reckless though. That's what's crazy is that he knows he he's calculated with his punches. Like he likes to go to the body, and he'll set you up to go to the body, and all of a sudden he'll sap your energy, and then he can go ahead and go up top a little bit more. So he's at even though he's super aggressive, he's actually a lot more calculated than a lot other a lot of other super aggressive fighters like somebody like Andre Feely who used to be a, a contender, a guy who was in the 145 pound division and was a talented athlete out of Team Alpha Male, but. Same thing with Feely is that the thing about Feely, rather, he was just as aggressive as Oleg Sajak, except Feely would go so aggressive that he would actually get knocked out. Now, the reason he would get knocked out is because he, he put, opens himself up. He would yeah. open himself up, just like Lazy said. He would open himself up because he would get over aggressive. And that's the thing. When you're getting super aggressive like Feely or Oleg Sajak, you open yourself to get knocked out. But Oleg Sajak is smart. There's something about him. He's A lot of people who are super aggressive are also not super smart. This guy happens to be super smart and super aggressive. Like back back to Lousy, what he was saying about he's probably a uh, chemistry teacher in high school, and this is like his, uh, you know, his, uh, his alter ego, man. Side hustle. <laughs> Everyone needs a side hustle. Why not be super aggressive, super calculated, like a genius, you know, science teacher. So, <laughs> Um, it's a it's a genius observation by my boy here. Um, I we, you know what? I'll look Sajak for the win. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Lala, let's I, go. I'm putting money. Fuck. Let's go. I mean, let's let's, let's go. Let's yeah, put some let's goddamn go. money out. You know what? He convinced me because he's, he's super aggressive, but he's also super smart. I mean, you can't lose. It, it, he might actually study science in his off time. Probably plays yeah. chess. You know, probably played chess with, in, in the old country. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now he's over here killing people in Vegas, being super aggressive and going to the body. Body head, body. He's smart. You know what I mean? I like, I like the way he thinks. Mate. Checkmate, dude. He's probably like, he's probably five moves ahead at least. And with a guy like Brundage, who's a guy who's more of a reactionary type fighter, I think Oleg Sajak will have the edge and will be smart enough to get out of harm's way once he's go, going at him against the cage. He'll be able to 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 not get hit by the overhand right of Brundage. But let's be honest, if Brundage does land it, Oleg Sajak will will get hurt. And uh, but Oleg Sajak has a great chin, so I, we we're definitely thinking. Oleg Sajak for the win, probably going the distance just because Oleg Sajak uh, pressures, but uh, uh, Brundage does have the power to, to, to make Oleg Sajak think twice a little yeah. bit. So it'll be hard to finish Brundage. Uh, Brundage has uh, knocked out his last opponent, and his second-to-last opponent, he submitted him. So uh, Brundage is on fire right now, and he's getting better every fight. So that's why we're thinking it's a 50-50 fight. Decision decision might be a better price because the yeah. over on this fight, right now Oleg Sajak is minus 280 meaning bet 280 to make 100, so not very profitable. But if you bet the over, like we're thinking, it's going to be a 50-50 fight, you know, it might be a, a cheap bet, you know, maybe make some money on it. Yeah. Um, um, how about, uh, like, like Oleg Sajak, um, small money, and then, like, goes the distance for, for a bigger money bet. I, I don't know. Agreed, I, agreed. Agreed. Like go go go. Like like like. Basically, your main main bet should be go the distance, and your head should be Oleg Sajak just winning outright. Yeah. <laughs> that's smart. That's, Why not? I think that's what. So for the win, Oleg Sajak goes the distance. I think that that's not a lock, but like. Bigger money on the distance, bigger probably. On bigger money on the distance because it's a 50-50 fight. And he just, my boy right here, Lousy, just convinced me that he is very smart. You know, the way he is calculated and super aggressive. Um, very rare combo, actually. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think going the distance for the main bet and then, yeah, go go for the uh, outright win for Oleg Sajak with a smaller bet just in case um, Oleg Sajak uh, just happens to win by a knockout because he very well could knock out uh, uh, Brundage because of that aggression like we it said could about be a barn burner. could be a barn burner it's going to be a very interesting fight just because you got Oleg Sajak coming forward Brundage uh, uh, um, countering you know and uh, but not countering super well just countering with one one big punch or uh, you know a guillotine yeah. uh, so Oleg Sajak I think we're thinking he's smart enough to, to, to get away with that super aggression and, and get it done guys